Shirley, we, I had it. to come out here. Uh, this is something Christina has been talking about oh, so for a I long time. I'm so excited yeah. about this project. It's Aww. so beautiful. Thank you. All right, so um, let, uh, we saw the we saw the main one this there. One, it's so you want to know how to maintain beautiful. it, right? Yeah, okay. take us through this. Well, here's the good news. If you have a water bottle mm -hmm. and you spray the moss inside and you spray on the material because it's okay because this yeah. is uh, fungus proof. This is an outdoor grade pillow. That is how you water your succulents. So, so you, you would it. recommend that sort of outdoor like some uh, umbrella or yeah. whatever material uh, they call only, this. Yeah, only. only that. I, yes, you need to find your outdoor umbrella pillows and you definitely use it without their stuff and you stuff it with moss. But how how often I, do you do that? Well, I kind of check to see that it feels a little bit moist on the material. And if it's really dry, you can even, because it's open up here, uh -huh. then you just go ahead and miss it. So about once a week. But this you can place indoors. All right. Uh -huh. in, a bri in a bright spot. Okay. Show us how, because oh, that's the key, because yeah. You wanna want jump to jump on this? Yeah, yeah, I do, well, I do. Let me first tell you what we're gonna need. Real yep. simple and really inexpensive. Your outdoor grade pillow, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, but I removed the stuffing and I placed uh, moss in it. You need uh -huh. pantyhose, and you'll see in a minute. You need some floral wire. Okay. Definitely need a Zacto blade. Okay. okay. Scissors and an assortment of your favorite succulents in different sizes. Do you recommend any special ones? Yeah, well, just, you know what? are pretty. I yeah, just picked the pretty ones. ones. Yeah, yeah, pick the ones, the colors that yeah. you like because there are so All many right. varieties. Well, let's take a look at what you did today. All right, this is how we did it. So, like I said, we open up our outdoor pillow and try to do a neat job so you have a nice little uh, crease there. Then you remove the um, stuffing and you replace it with moss. And this moss is nice and moist. And you just want to make sure, because this is where your succulents are going to live. We don't use soil. So gave it a nice fluffy shape, and we're ready to prepare our succulent. So that's our pantyhose. And the way that works is it's going to be used to wrap around the roots of our succulents. Once we put the moss on there, then we place it on top because we're going to be poking this through a hole in the pillow and I want to make sure the moss doesn't get, you know, out of order. And then you can also put a couple of smaller size succulents together and then place with the uh, play with the order of how you want it. Then you make a hole once you know where you want it and then you basically just start sticking in your succulents, which is what you're going to do right wow, now. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Wait, Isn't so that cool? I, I just want to say, I mean, I love, I love this thing. I yeah. cannot grow anything. Yeah. Chances of me doing this and getting it right, right. not well. But so how about there, Kai? So what he well, wants, he wants your pillow. That's what he I wants. Want your he pillow. wants no, to take No, is there a pillow. right and a wrong way when you start putting this stuff together? Not you... really. What you want to keep in mind for design-wise, it's as creative as you want to be. I know you guys are real creative. I mean play with it first like i like to use you got one i love a this, big rosette as a focal oh wait this one's not looking pretty but that one's pretty so you would say yeah. oh let's use this as a focal point and then just play yeah. with the different color combinations you could either do odd numbers like mm -hmm. three spots or combine them all together right but it really there is no wrong there is a wrong though if you make a hole that's way too big then it's going to fall out ah but, be careful, yeah, but. you can remedy it by shoving a few smaller ones inside, inside as well. But right. I want to get busy. No talking. Let's okay, do it. Okay, you get started on it. By the way, I, I recommend just dry you. cleaning only on this pillow. Oh, when you, once you get no, it. you're so funny. Do these last a long time or is it going to? Oh, I have mine from 2011 really? in my patio. But the important oh, thing, yeah. guys, is that you want to make sure that if it's outdoors, you're undercover. Because, yes, it's a succulent. It can mm -hmm. take a lot of abuse, but it does not like direct sunlight. What will happen is it will start to burn. Ah. So as long as it's underneath, you're fine. Perfect. What is this around here? It's so pretty. That's just moss, chartreuse moss. moss. And you put it on with, you with can a glue do, gun? Or well, what? you can do it if it's not going to be outdoors. Then okay. you can go ahead and glue it, gun it, because remember, you're just going to wet around here. Oh, so you Other questions it. you may have will be answered by uh, going to Shirley's blog at Edenmakers.com. Our Pinterest page is also a great place. You can see there on the bottom of your screen. Wonderful creative ideas, once again, from I our foodie gardener, uh, Shirley Bobshaw. Yes. Hey,